Hello, this is Barry Vanover with Black Belt Business Special Report. We have an epidemic. Parents all over the country are coming to owners asking them, can they freeze their martial arts memberships over the summer? This is a big problem and it must stop now. No, all joking aside, I probably had seven, six, seven owners ask me in the past two weeks, what should they do when parents are coming to them asking to freeze their memberships while they go away for the summer for vacations. Now, first, let's talk about the concept of why and the easiest way to explain this to your parents when they come up to you one-on-one -on -one and talk about this, all right? First, and it's a concept you have to understand as well, air martial arts memberships are not based on a monthly value. Air training is not based on a monthly membership price. These people have bought a program. They've either bought a basic program, they bought a black belt training program or so forth. So they bought a program or a length of time that cost a certain amount of money. Now, you either offered them a finance option where they put so much money down and they spread the rest of that amount over so many months, or they paid that membership in full to receive some type of discount. So this is a financed plan and, and the finance plan, the finance option, all payments need to be made on time and on schedule and no payments can be frozen. Just like when those parents go away for the summer or go away for two or three weeks for vacation, they're not using their car probably while they're gone to Europe or Paris or wherever they're gone, right? So they still have to make their car payment. They still have to make their house payment even though they didn't sleep in their bed for two or three weeks or a month or whatever, right? You still have, and you still have the same bills to keep your business going um, uh, all throughout the entire summer, no matter where your students are going and how long they're going to be on vacation. So all of this concept leads you to a simple way to explain this to a parent. Oh ma'am, I'm sorry, uh, Ms. Johnson, but you know, you chose to finance your membership instead of pay it in full. And all of those finance payments have to be made on schedule and on time. We don't freeze memberships over the summer for vacations or time off or for any reason. You know, just like, just because you're on vacation, you still have to make your car payment or house payment. Well, you still have to make this membership payment, okay? And just like me, you know, I have payments and bills all summer long, no matter how many students I have training. Does that make sense, you understand? Okay, perfect. Easy way to explain it, okay? Now, next thing that I wanna talk about is the, chance, the problem of how this got started is your program managers or whoever does your sales, they've, they've either didn't know how to handle the situation and explain it like I so eloquently just did. Uh, and then when parents would go, well, what happens during the summer when I'm gone? While they're at the sign up table, while they're getting ready to sign up and somebody said, oh, well, we can freeze your payment over the summer or we can give you time back over this, you know, that, that you might've missed. They make all these excuses just to get the sell. And then that come back, that comes back just like it is now and bite you. You know, if that was your policy or you've said this, your program managers have said this haphazardly, now all of a sudden you've got 12 or 13 families trying to freeze their memberships over the summer, that's going to really make your billing check drop over the summertime, which is the very time that you need your tuition billing nice and high, okay? Because maybe you're not signing up as many students and getting as many down payments or getting as many upgrades or renewals as you normally do. So next thing that I want to discuss in this concept is what to do now about the current situation. Okay, let's go ahead and let's stop all of these questions. Or if you haven't even received this yet, maybe you're up in the Northeast and your, your summer's not going to start till mid June. You haven't had parents. Let's go ahead and nip it in the bud immediately by sending a letter, an email, or a put up a post on your private Facebook group for your school. That basically explains what I've just said, okay, in a nice, nice letter to the parents. And I have the verbiage for that, which I'm not going to read because I'm going to provide this to you in a download, but I have a nice letter written out eloquently explaining the situation that you again send out, send the letter out, send out an email or put it up on a post and just go ahead and remind everybody about this before they come and ask you. Of course, the same verbiage in this letter is if people do come and ask you one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to use the same verbiage. So to stop this from ever happening, make sure your program managers or your salespeople 
are never saying that they can freeze a membership over the summertime or if somebody breaks an arm or leg, we don't freeze memberships for any reason at any time. Okay, All payments must be made on schedule and on time. One great thing you could do is hopefully all you guys are using a new student checklist and a new student checklist is when you sign up a new student after the membership's been signed and monies have been taken, you pull out a new student checklist and you're going to go over key things that might or occurrences or situations or information that maybe a parent might later on maybe be disgruntled about, right? So if you're going to communicate anything that might ruffle a, a, a student's feathers, so to speak, the day they sign up is the time to go over that with the parent or the adult student and have them initial that they understand. Things like, you know, all payments are made either to a billing company or, you know, or, or the fact that we're closed on occasional Saturdays for instructor training or, you know, the fact that you charge testing fees every quarter. Now would be the time to go over all those type of things instead of wait till it happens and you tell the parents, well, you know, we tell ever all of our students when they sign up, you should know about this. Well, nobody told me is what they will say. And you can't call them a liar and you kind of get stuck. But if you go over all those things at the very beginning, when they're the most excited, these things won't be an issue in the future. And what I've done is I have put a phrase on this new student checklist about no payment freeze concept. And I worded it perfectly here for you as well. So by initialing this, that's going to take care of all in the future. Sending this letter to them takes care of to all the existing students you have now. And this should no longer be a problem for you. Now, how you're going to get a copy of my letter, how you're going to get a copy of the verbiage, how you're going to get a copy of a new student checklist that's editable. It doesn't have the Premier logo on it for those that are not Premier Martial Arts Schools and it's editable. You can go in here and add stuff or change stuff however you want. Is you're going to go to my new website, barryvanover.com and there's a place right at the very top of the website, not the top header, but below the header pick where you can subscribe to my weekly Black Belt a business newsletter or Black Belt Business Digest. So by subscribing to that, I'm going to send you a download link for this video plus the support materials for this payment freeze request problem and it won't be a problem anymore.